Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I thought I'd give you a quick review of the new Oxide plugin from Universal Audio. The Oxide plugin is a derivative of the two uh, big brothers, in a sense, of this, which are the ATR102, which I absolutely love, and it sits on most of my mix bus most of the time, and also the A800. Uh, one was a multi-track, one was a stereo one. And with this plugin, what we have now is a a low cost but still high quality tape emulation that you can use. They also do some deals where you can upgrade to the full versions if you wish. So a quick show over the controls. Basically what you have is you have two speeds, 15 and 7.5 uh, inches per second. Uh, then you have two EQ settings, uh, NAB and uh, CCIR. And then you have a noise reduction on and off. Then you have input and then you have output. And this is where the real magic happens in a sense, is that the more you push in, the more you can drive the circuits and the more you can also drive the tape as well. You can either work off the input which is just the electronics of the machine or the repro where you hear it coming back off tape and then you have an on and off switch as well and then what you will basically want to do when you're using it is you balance the two up so you can either drive it very hard and keep the output down or you can drive it very low and put the output up so for example if I give you this bass guitar here There it is, off. So what we could do, we could push the gain up and restart pushing it and then pull the repro head, pull the volume down to match it. Well, the other way we could do it is we could pull it down so it's not driving as hard, but we could pull the output up. So warming it instead. It's a case of then just matching those up. And then we could, as I say, take it to seven and a half ips, change the EQ setting, turn the noise reduction off. And you can hear that's kind of adding adding non-linearities to the sound. So there it is on a bass guitar. Let's hear it on some other stuff. Let's try a snare drum. Let's bypass those. So you can hear it's adding some more top end. Very nice as well on the overheads. So I've played on this whole kit here. That's it off. I've got some guitars as well here. some nice sort of upper tone into that. The best thing you can do, because you're watching this on YouTube anyway, is to download it yourself, but uh, there it is on our, on, I've got it on all the tracks, kind of gluing the whole session together. You may hear this, put some headphones on it, might help. There's the original. So I'm adding some air. Also gluing the bottom end. Now in a good place you could try it as well. There's no rules of course. You just put it in your master bus. You can hear it's lifting the top there. We pull it down a bit as well and then drive it harder. because we're driving it hard it's kind of pulling it in a bit
course, the other way we can do it is we can make it warmer by pushing it harder in and then, sorry, pushing it less in and upping the output. Just in case of getting those matched so you can have a listen. You can either hear from the repro head, which is the tape, or just the electronics of the machine. In particular, it does open up the top end. And it's all a case of just varying it until you get what you want. That really does start to add some tone and some colour. If you don't like the animation running, then just hit the button and that will stop that. So there we are, Oxide by Universal Audio. Well worth checking out, well worth downloading if you're a UAD user. Of course you could track through it with Apollo as well if you wanted to, so there's all sorts of options there for you. Check it out, it's a great addition. Wasn't expecting this one, and for those that really can't stretch to the 800 and the ATR102, then this is a great way of getting into, into tape emulations on your DAW. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.